But the church needs money. Don't get me wrong. But do not scare someone to make a donation. That is fraud. When I tell you, if you don't give, you will be promoted, that is fraud. The Bible says promotion comes not from the east or west, but from God. Mm. Where you just read, say, he took all our causes. Come on, man. He took all our causes in the law. And now let me tell you something. The Jewish wrote the Bible. And the Jewish, all the apostles of old, we are all Jewish. Nobody in the New Testament, nowhere in the New Testament, they say, pay your tithe. Nowhere. The only reference we have about Titan is in Hebrews 7, 5. It was a reference to the Old Testament. In Hebrews 7, 5. About Titan. So, why I spoke about Logos and Rema, if you don't have Logos, someone can come to you. No pastor can come to me and tell me about Titan. I release the Logos I have. The world I have is here. Listen, you can read the Bible as a book. You won't understand the meaning. But when you read it, when you pray before reading it, the Holy Spirit will interpret it. You will get the clear understanding. So nobody can deceive me. Nobody can manipulate me. How dare you? You can't tell me that. You can't tell me. If you tell me the church needs money, fundraising for this, that's understandable. You can account for it. I will make a donation. If you tell me church is going through a tough time or we need to send some brethren to India, that is understandable. I will make donations. But when you tell me to give one tenth of my hard end level, when I want to give God 90%, and you're telling me unless I give one tenth, and listen, most tithes are not being accounted for. That's why number of people that owns private jets today are pastors. Check it. Go to Africa. Poverty ridden country. In Africa, countries in Africa, their pastors drive private jets, illiterate as pastors, no source of income as pastors, but they have private jets. Because why? People like me and you that have been deceived are empowering them. Poverty mentality. That's why a lot of them go to Africa. Let's, let, let's leave America behind because IRS investigates. Go to Africa, which I'm Privileged to be, I know them. <laughs> <laughs> On a more serious note, you will hear this one now. I, say, I, I, I will check. Start illiterate, no business background, nothing. Then their favorite quote is Malachi thread. Mm -hmm. And people will be spread because they don't want to be cost. You are being cost for tithing. But if you are giving to God because you feel like the church needs to expand. When I was going, there's a book called uh, a Bible, small new, this new uh, Bible. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Gideon's Bible. Small mm -hmm. Bible. <coughs> Gideon's Bible, only New Testament, done by people called Gideon's brothers from America. They printed Bible freely and distributed to Africa. So me, that could not afford a Bible, could read. The Bible. I have seen some missionaries. They told me they are Catholic missionaries. They will come to preach the gospel to some people in Africa. Now, when you go to any street, you will see this church. This church, non denomination, non denominational. What is your job? They say they are targeting the youths. They are targeting the youths. You dress also. You see a pastor dressing like, like a talk. I'm preaching the word of God to me on television. And you want my daughter to watch you? You wear a tight pants and your eggplant will be showing? And you want my daughter to watch you? <laughs> Amen? So what are, you in, what are you teaching those kids? Before when you see a Catholic priest, oh my goodness, you say you want to be a priest. Neat and well dressed. When a pastor mounts the road through, well dressed, you feel like serving God. But now a pastor will dress in pop man and mount an altar. How can you release the Holy Ghost? When you have already dressed carnally to entice the youths, 
I don't need to entice you by dressing. I need to entice you by the power of God through the revelation of God's word. Not by my dressing. Not by my dressing. Not by having tattoos in my... No! I'm not against you having tattoos. I love my sisters. And I love some of my brothers with hidden ones. <laughs> and I love you. <laughs> but when you are a priest, when you are a priest, the, con the, con the congregation looks up to you. You are a walking, a symbol of discipline. When you come, you look, imagine you see me, I said, don't smoke, and you see me hiding and smoking. <laughs> Everyone is laughing. No, no, that's true. Because you look up to me. The Bible says, if we are following the Lord, the Bible says, that shall have no graven image on your body. It's okay if you knew nothing about Christ, you have tattoo. But when you are a pastor, as a pastor, you will go and draw tattoo everywhere just to win souls. Come on, man. Come on, man. You've lost it. You've lost the glory, man. That's not how to do it. You do it by demonstration of the power of God, not by putting tattoo to win anybody. You don't do it. My members can be a tattoo. I say, oh, bless you, sister. It's okay. Whatever. I'll deliver anything. You okay? You remember? But when I am a preacher of the God's word, I am an ambassador of Christ. The Holy Ghost lives in me. I cannot do it. So if I'm telling you about the law of Titan, if I believe in it, then I should also believe in the law that you should not have a graven image in your body. This same Titan now brought us to the topic. I will not summarize it because you've provoked me with your question. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's not a provocation to hit anybody. It's a provocation to kick the devil. Yes, yes. yes. <coughs> because I want you to know the word. Don't fear your pastor. We are humans. We are shepherds. But when a blind shepherd leads the sheep, you drive them into the ditch. I want you to know how to keep the devil. Plant the word of God in you. The question we ask, did Judas betray Jesus? No. Did he betray Jesus because of money? Uh -uh. Judas was used to fulfill the prophecy of the prophets, Isaiah, Jeremiah. If, I did, if Judas did not betray Jesus, then God would have made a lie. Amen? Amen. If he did not do it, two of us would perhaps would have been in thick forest hunting and it was now. Because of sin that blinded us. When you read Matthew 27, 1 to 5, <coughs> because of time, we may not read it. But if you want us to go there, we can go there. Okay. Let's read Matthew. 27. 27? Yes, please. Yeah. <coughs> oh. I'll come to him later. Okay. <laughs> what verse? 1 to 5, please. Okay. When it was morning, <clears throat> when it was morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people. Ladder sister. Okay. I love the voice. <laughs> when it was morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus, plotting how to put him to death since under Roman rule they had no power to execute anyone. So they bound him and led him away and handed him over to Pilate, the governor of Judah, who had the authority to condemn prisoners to death. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he was gripped with remorse and returned the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. They replied, Go ahead. Are, you, are we listening? I want us to pay attention. Are we listening to this? Yeah. Okay. What, what is that to us? See to, uh, see to that yourself. 
and throwing the pieces of silver into the temple sanctuary, he left and went away and hanged himself. Amen? Amen. Now, read 6 and 7, quickly, please. Saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent well, hold on. No, 6, six, six yeah. and 7, okay. The chief priest, picking up the pieces of silver, said, It is not lawful to put these to the treasury mm -hmm. of the temple because it is the price of blood. Okay. So after consultation, they used the money to buy the potter's field as a burial place for strangers. You see? Now, if he had betrayed Jesus because he lost money, how could he returned it? If Judas, did, listen, Judas did not pick himself to follow Jesus. Jesus picked him. Jesus picked him because, one, he was an accountant and a tax collector. By his profession, he knows the value of money. If Judas has, ref if he had refused to obey the word of God, then God would have been made a liar. So we should be thankful that Jesus was betrayed for us. Redemption. The Bible said he was remorseful. How many pastors can say I am remorseful, I have lied against you by preaching the law till now even when the grace was made sufficient for you and me and I'm still lying to you because I need tithes. How many pastors can confess like Judas did? He was bold to say, I am remorseful. And the Bible says he returned it. And they refused. He threw it at them and hung himself. How many pastors can swallow their pride? None of them is bigger than Judas. Who died with Jesus? None of us have died. If I tell you I'm eating with Jesus, I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> I've never eaten with him. But Judas ate with him. Judas walked with him. Judas held meetings with him. When you refer the Bible says, devil entered into Judas. Because I, I, I tell you people that this earth is your jurisdiction. Devil has no right over you here on earth. No single right over you. This is your jurisdiction. So for devil to penetrate, he needs a body to perform it. Right. Devil is a spirit. <clears throat> in the beginning, death, God made Adam and Eve and put them in the Garden of Eden. Hello? And devil was mad because of the relationship between man and God. Devil needed means of attacking them, knowing very well he could not Get any of them, he went through what man loves most. Man's pets. God made man in his image and likeness as his pet. We can relate to it. And God said, whatever you name the animals will be their name. Wow. So God made animals as our pet. Now the devil said, let's go after man's best friend, which is snake. Man could relate with snake. Because that's man's best friend. Some of us have snakes in their house till date. Some of us have dogs in their house. That's man's best friend. So devil could not go against God with another man. And he went. So here on earth, devil wanted to fight Jesus. He went after Jesus with his disciple, one of his disciples. And when you read downwards, it says this happened in fulfillment of what 